In this video, we'll take you through the steps required to connect your Apple iPhone or iPad to the PowerShot G7X. We'll start by downloading the Canon Camera Connect app from the Apple App Store before configuring the Wi-Fi connection. Finally, we'll go through the basic features of the app and make sure everything's working as it should. All up, it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to get up and running. If you're following along with your own Apple device, you may need to pause or replay the video every now and again. Let's get started. First up, we need to download and install the app. Head on over to the Apple App Store and search for Canon Camera Connect. It's completely free. Now it's time to open up the app and configure the Wi-Fi connection. Canon Camera Connect will ask your permission to send you notifications, access your Photos app and also your GPS location. These requests are all to do with how the app works, so you'll need to agree to them all for it to work properly. You can browse the welcome screens or just cut to the chase by tapping the Skip button. Now, this bit's really important, so don't tap anything just yet. We're going to tap the Close button here and show you the fastest way to connect. Make sure you're on this screen. On the camera, press the Device Connect button. If this is the first time you've pressed that button, you'll be asked to enter a name for the camera. Use the keypad to enter a suitable name, then press the Menu button. Tap OK and then select the smartphone icon that appears. On the screen of your Canon camera is some really important information. The SSID is the name of the Wi-Fi network that the camera has created specifically for you to connect your Apple device to. Go to the Settings app on your Apple device and open up the Wi-Fi menu. Once you're in the Wi-Fi settings on your Apple device, you should be able to see the camera network listed. Use that information to join the EOS Wi-Fi network with your smartphone. On the screen of your Canon camera, you'll see that it's found your Apple device. Tap on it to approve the connection. After a few seconds, you'll see confirmation of a successful connection. Let's just check everything's working. First, we'll test the remote shooting function. Make sure the camera's lens barrel is able to open without being obstructed before tapping the Remote Live View Shooting button. What you're seeing here is a real-time view of what the camera is seeing. Point the camera at a subject and then tap the Shutter Release button on the app. The camera captures a photo which is saved onto the memory card just like any other picture. So, what if you wanted to download this picture to your Apple device or indeed any other image on the camera? Well, it's just as easy. Go back to the main screen of the app by pressing the left hand arrow at the top of the screen and then tap Images on Camera. What you're seeing here are thumbnails of all the images that are stored on the memory card in your camera. You can browse these images and even download them to your smartphone. They're saved in the Photos app, meaning that you can share them just as you would with any other photo. There's one last thing we want to show you and that's how to properly close the Wi-Fi connection. Press the Close Connection button on the app and the Wi-Fi disconnects. Next time you want to use the app, just press the Device Connect button again. Make sure you're successfully connected to the camera's network, then launch the app. Well, that's about it. We hope you found this video useful and that you're looking forward to using Canon Camera Connect with your PowerShot G7X.